All right, so let's go ahead and start. We're just going to identify our variables. Wherever I have anything that says dimes, I'm going to call that D, and quarters, I'm going to go ahead and call as Q. Now, the statement here can be a little tricky. Three times as many dimes as quarters. So the key with this is realizing that you have more dimes than quarters. Because you have three times as many. So to make dimes and quarters equal, you say the dimes are equal to uh, three times the number of quarters. And again, the way to think about this is that there are you have three times as many dimes, so you have more dimes. So the number of dimes is equal to three times the number of quarters. Now, the next piece that we have here is a combined value. And whenever you're doing a value statement with any of these, you have to use the fact that you know the quarters are 25 cents and dimes are 10 cents, so therefore it will equal the 385 cents. And it's always going to be with um, the value times how many you have. And in this case, how many we have, how many dimes and how many quarters do we have? So now I go through new substitution. I take that fact that I know if I have a dime, it is equal to three quarters. So I plug that in, and now I have 25 quarters plus 10 times the three quarters is equal to 385. Now I have 25 quarters plus 30 quarters is equal to 385 or that gives me 55 quarters is equal to 385. I divide both sides by 55, and that tells me the number of quarters that I have is equal to seven. Now, to find out the number of dimes, I just take all of this and plug it back up here, and I know that is equal to three times the fact that there are seven quarters, or that I have 21 uh, dimes. And then you'll put both of those into the equation.